Hello my YouTubers, welcome back to my channel. Um, we're gonna work today on a Ford Transit Connect uh, 2012. Well, this version is uh, from 2010 to 2013, so it's all the same. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, we're gonna check underneath the car. Um, I see some uh, oil drops from my car, so we're gonna figure out what exactly is, is happening to this car. So we're going to start uh, uh, the procedures uh, for this um, for this uh, problem, okay? So I'm going to show you what exactly is going to happen. We're going to go underneath the car, see what exactly, uh, where exactly is coming from the, I mean, the oil. And then uh, also we're going to fix the problem, okay? Because we got to do what we have to do, okay? Um, I lift the car, I put the jack underneath, I, I put the supports, uh, the jack stands, so um, just to make sure and also I put something in the back um, of the car, so something that doesn't roll to the back of the car, just for safety, I mean if you have something better obviously put something there, so you can just feel safety, but I have two of them, I have uh, one jack underneath and this one also. Whatever you can, as much as you can feel safety, that will be uh, good. So after we have this uh, this car lift, we're gonna go underneath um, and uh, we're gonna see what happened. All right, yeah, as you see, um, <clears throat> as you see the oil drops from here, I mean, this is not really good. So we gotta figure out where this oil is coming from because you know when you're driving uh, um, always when you're driving uh, it could be coming from the front most of the time it comes from the front but it ends, ends up in the back so now we're gonna clean we're gonna make sure we're gonna see where it's coming from okay let's clean this whole area here and then uh, Let's clean it, dry it out. We're gonna dry this this whole area here, and then after that, we're gonna get a flashlight. We're gonna inspect where exactly it's coming from. The reason I'm drying it right now is because uh, um, I want to see if there's any drops that is coming right here or is uh, it's, it's coming from here. Because I see the drop here, but. I'm not sure if it's coming from here or from this side. So I'm cleaning. After you clean, you're going to be able to see where where the drop is coming from. Okay, and also I'm going to get the flashlight and just to inspect the areas. All right, so, so I'm going to do a good cleaning, okay? Okay, so after I uh, clean the area, I leave it for like, I would say like uh, five, ten minutes, close to. So I can start, I start seeing, hope you can see on the video, but the oil is starting to come from here, from this little gap. So as you see here, it's dry. But you see the oil right there? Okay. It's oil. So there is something else that I can show that I want to show you. There is something weird that I see. I was inspecting all areas around here. So what I see something is here. Okay. I don't know if you're able to see it, but uh let me see if you can see it. Okay, there you go. So on this area also, as it's uh, kind of dripping a little bit of oil, I already cleaned, but uh, what I, I realize is this is the the oil pan, okay? So I don't know if you can see it from here, this area here, oil pan, okay? So it's all around here, all right? You see the oil that is starting to come from here? The gaps? Okay. So I, I already dried before, so now it's still coming again. So.
what happened is we're gonna do we're gonna change the the gasket okay so also i'm gonna remove this this uh this cover from the side from the left uh, side uh, tire so there is a cover on the side so that covers like the timing for the timing chain and everything when you're going to work on it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to remove this uh, bolt here okay and also i'm going to remove this uh let's see where is the other bolt all oh, right here okay so and then after these two bolts the uh, the the cover will come down for this one i think you need uh, uh eight millimeters okay and for this as you see this is special so i think i have that one the one that i was uh, showing before so let's do that Just make sure you don't drop your okay you remove all of them so after I remove now we're gonna be able to pull it back okay so and then and just put it back and then just uh, it's gonna come down okay so we're able to see now what exactly is happening as you see some oil here from the from the gasket as you see the gasket is kind of weird right there so we're gonna see if we can find the gasket or if we got to put a sealant so we're gonna work on that one right now, okay? So this is all around the oil pan, okay? The motor oil pan, not the transmission, okay? Okay, so after I show you where the leaks was, um, what I did is I, uh, since the, the leak was in this area here, okay? So what I did is I I tied the, the bolt a little more with this one here with the 17 I, I, I'm sorry I think this is a 13 so with the 13 I tied this one here a little more this one here okay and on this side if you see it i'm sorry i'm not just uh, okay so and if you see on this side there's another one okay so i take this one too okay so this one right here this one and this one and i left for like i'll say like this is like for a couple of hours no i think it's three hours already but I see this is completely dry. I'm gonna use a paper so so you can see. So basically, I save my time, and because uh, it was a, going to be a big job putting down the the pen, and um, and obviously removing the whole gasket and putting a new one. So right now you see this is just too dark. There's nothing nothing no oil i put the engine on and i left it running and also i shut it down but there's nothing which is good so it saves time so remember you have a tiny leak down the bottom right here just uh, just on this spot so you can just tight a little more the, the the bolts this one here this one here and uh this one on the side i'm sorry this one here okay this this and this so and you should be fine I mean luckily there's no more oil nothing like that so 
Thanks for watching guys. I already put the, the cover, the one that we removed here. So same thing I did, I just tied a little more and that's all. So I hope this video is helpful. So basically this video will help you to save uh, time and money, you know. So um, I don't know, so just give you a thumbs up and let me know what you think about this uh, video, if you have any other ideas and uh, let's keep going okay don't forget to subscribe and like thank you